Here's how to build a C++ application on Windows without using Visual Studio or the Microsoft C++ compiler. Instead, we will download the LLVM toolchain and Clang, a modern, free and fast compiler. Mind you, if you have an Intel machine, you will need the x86-64 version. Since I'm on ARM, I'm choosing this one. Unzip the contents directly to C drive and then change the name to simply LLVM. Next, CMake. Again, make sure you choose the correct installer for your platform. Ninja is a fast and modern build tool. It's distributed as a single binary, so we will simply download and unzip it. Finally, git for repository management. Git and CMake will be added to our path variable automatically, but LLVM and Ninja require manual steps. Simply search for path in this Windows search bar and you will see the option for setting the environment variables. When adding the path to LLVM, make sure you add the bin subfolder. This is where all the libraries and executables live in, including the compiler. So Clang works, but we need to add the path to Ninja as well. Now we have everything. Let's clone my tree control tutorial and see if we can build it without Microsoft tools. And here's our working executable. Don't mind the large size of the file. By default, CMake uses debug configuration. To make this executable smaller, configure the build system with CMake build type set to release. So the file size is not a problem. The problem is that this executable won't work if we run it on some other machine that does not have LLVM installed. To simulate this, let's rename the LLVM folder so that the system won't be able to find the libraries inside. Now when we run our app, we get missing libraries errors. If you want to distribute your executable to end users, you will have either to include these libraries in your package, which is allowed by LLVM license, or create a static build. I have a CMake template with presets for linking these libraries statically. Let's clone it, configure and build. Now the libraries are linked statically. The app will work even on systems without LLVM libraries. But that's not all. 
We can also debug the code with LLDB, a debugger shipped with LLVM, and have an IntelliSense-like experience with built-in Clang D language server. Let's see how to set it up in VS Code. We will need three plugins. First, CMake tools to detect and configure our presets. Then, LLDB DAP, a debugging adapter protocol plugin that talks to LLDB. And finally, Clang D for LSP. Back to the project, we click Build on the bottom and choose the Windows Static preset. Then click Debug from the Run and Debug pane. And the program stops at a breakpoint. The debugger works. The code navigation also works out of the box thanks to Clang D. With control clicks, we can jump to definitions easily. This is thanks to the compile commands JSON generated by CMake. This file contains the actual compiler invocations done by CMake, so Clang D knows exactly what flags or defines were used. This makes it much more accurate than Microsoft's default IntelliSense plugin. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you will enjoy using Clang on Windows, and I will see you in the next one.